Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy, and subscribe if you're new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. to be here and he came out and pushed me around put his hands on me i didn't do a thing i didn't say anything i stood here doing what i was doing i'm not cool with somebody just coming out this video is from the channel the constitution state be sure to go and check out their videos their link will be down in the description make sure you guys also subscribe to their channel as it helps them out a lot anyway the clip begins with a man filming around the outside of norwich court from a public sidewalk a court employee puts their hands on the man who's recording and even tries to grab the man's camera. An employee thinks it's his property. I mean, come on, what an utter joke. The cops then arrive and let me just say, they surprise me with what they do next. Right here, Norwich Superior Court. I'm not on state property, thank you. No, it's not. It, that's your state property? It's not your anything. It's not your anything. No, it's not your anything. Do I pay taxes? Do I pay taxes? Is that any of your business? It is my business because... It's none of your business. Taxes, it's what, who makes you think you're so... Property. No, it's not your state property. I clean it. It's my property. You Get off my property. You're going to prosecute him, guy? Move out of my property. This is not your property. It is my this property. This is not your property. Yes. No, that... Yes, I, I got a complaint. I'm at the Norwich Courthouse. I got somebody. Let's not lie. Let's not lie. Mm -hmm. So this gentleman here is on state property. This is a public sidewalk. This is public. You guys came out last week and you told the court that they don't own this. He didn't get the memo. The memo. He put his hands on me and I'd like charges pressed. Okay. Give me one second. I have another officer coming. They're going to talk to you. Going on. Uh, I was doing exactly what I was doing when he left. I was standing here not saying a word to anybody and this dude turned around and started screaming at me and I said, I don't even know what I said. I said something, I'm allowed to be here and he came out and pushed me around, put his hands on me. I didn't do a thing. I didn't say anything. I stood here doing what I was doing. I'm not cool with somebody just coming out and putting their hands on me for no reason. Yeah. So, so you were standing here doing right what here. you were doing earlier, yeah. right? Yep. But I wasn't when talking. I left, you were yeah, no, I went up, I walked back around. Over. Yeah, right here. Yeah. And I was right here, literally. And I didn't even look for probably 10 seconds over there before he started yelling, saying he owned the property because he shovels it. Um, he, that makes it his. He thinks, he seems to think that court owns to the white line, that the white line and the road has anything to do with property boundaries. Uh, he doesn't seem to get that this is all public, this is just restricted. The court, they need to understand that they don't own this sidewalk. They have nothing to do with the sidewalk. Just because we pay him to clean the sidewalk doesn't mean it's his sidewalk. Do you want to uh, give me a statement or no? Yeah, absolutely. So do you want to walk over to my car, see where my car is? Yep. Okay, please. They're gonna, they're gonna handle it. Well, you know, so uh, the state police are coming because yeah, he told me. Yep. So yeah. they'll they'll be here hopefully any minute. We called them probably five ten minutes ago. Okay. So we'll, we'll hang out till they get here to make sure. Yeah, that's all that I was concerned yeah. about. So yeah, yeah. You got, you got I was just yeah. What's up? So at the end of the day, you're valid. Huh? You're you're valid. I agree, and usually I don't even try to, I would never even do anything against anybody else, but like, it's an ongoing thing with these guys, every other day, I see, man, I'm not here yelling at people or doing anything, but I'm literally filming from the sidewalk, and not all day, not for hours on end, literally just trying to get my footage so I can go, yep. and that's what I have, have to. So what we can do is, I'm going to leave it completely up to you, and mm -hmm. I don't want to understand that this is your option. Yep. He's the only civilian employee here. He's a janitor. Yep. He's not a state employee. It's not. It, it, this is. This is going to be. It, it, we do. We do a warrant for him. This is going to be detrimental to his job. And I want you to understand that I realize that he is in the crowd. We can cut him a ticket and make sure that he pays him. It, pays the ticket, and it, it, it would be a, a mandatory apology. If you're comfortable with that. No, I want him charged. Okay. Because 
it's not like if, if I cut if I don't a I don't get cut breaks anywhere and b um we've cut so many breaks up to this point cutting breaks isn't getting us anywhere okay. it's not getting us fair treatment anywhere so it's just time to put our foot down okay so with that being said if we're, we're going to do the thing i'm going to need to take a statement from you all that kind of stuff I'm gonna need how hard is it really to keep your hands to yourself and not touch the man's camera i mean come on it's the man's property I can understand you not wanting to be recorded or wanting the man to leave, but then to put your hands on the man and trying to grab the camera is just out of order, and this shouldn't happen at all. And then this employee thinking that it's his property. I mean, can he say something any funnier than this? I have to say though, I was surprised to see the cops arrive and go through with taking the man behind the camera's statement of the situation. Okay, I'm not in a restricted zone. You have no authority property. here, sir. Kick rocks. Okay. Go this clip is from the channel El Dope Dog. Their link will be down in the description, accompanied by the rest of the clips used in the video. Make sure you guys go check out their channel for more videos like this one. And be sure to subscribe as well so you'll be notified when they upload. The video starts off with a man filming outside the Wenatchee Police Department parking garage. A swarm of cops confronts the man because he's filming. They even say that the man's trespassing. Yet, the man isn't even in the parking lot. And oh boy, does it get even worse. Um, do you, you, you don't see what I'm doing? Are you blind? No. You don't tell me where to go, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, in there where you're at. I'm not in here. I'm outside, you see? I'm not in the parking lot. See? I'm not, no, for inside. I can't go inside. I need to know if I'm doing something wrong. Inside, yes. Out here, I am free. Am I being detained? Okay, so that means I can put my hand into my pocket. You see, you can't restrict my movements. So by asking me to take my hands out of my pocket, you can't ask me. I can ask you anything I sure, want. that's right. But I could refuse. I could politely refuse. That's why I have my hand in my pocket because it's it's cold out here. Okay, so what, what do you need out here? Nothing. Okay. Bye. Why are Bye. You here? Why are you here? Because I I can be. Okay, you can't be here. Inside, okay. right? Out here is different. This is all city property. You can't be here. See where all the streets are? See where the building is? You can't be here. If you want to be in the alley, you can be in the alley. Three stripes. And you're a Sergeant yes. Vasquez. Yeah. That's the second time I told you. Do I tell you again? Who, who, when you're doing something wrong, uh -huh. who do I go to complain to? Who's higher than you? You can talk to the captain. Yes. Captain who? Chance. Chance. Yep. Okay. I know where I can go and where oh, I can't go. How about if I hang out right here while I'm doing nothing wrong? I'm not breaking no laws. That's all I'm asking you to do. This lady over okay. here wants my name. Why? Okay. Why do you want my name? So go to no, you're supposed to give yours. I pay you, miss. You're a public employee, and I am a member of the public. Right, inside. Out here, I am a free person. Oh, I'm close to it. I'm by it. Okay. I'm not in a restricted zone. You, you have no authority property. here, sir. Kick rocks. Okay. Go solve some crime. But There's no crime here. No, I want to be very clear, though, because you are physically not inside the parking garage, but you still have what is called the egress of the building that connects to the alleyway. Technically speaking, you are on city property or social security property. Because Sergeant, this is building. if I was doing something wrong, you wouldn't be saying anything to me. You would have just arrested me. No, yes, if I was breaking the law, you would have just arrested me or gave me a citation or something like that. You guys are not doing it. In fact, you guys detained me by telling me to keep my hands out of my pocket. Okay, okay. I need your name, though. Really? Yes, because I, I can't just give a citation really? to no one. We are trying to help Well, you it's an unlawful citation. You're in charge here. I'm letting you know that you are trespassing. 
Then do I'm something let, about I'm it. I'm letting you know right now. Okay. So you have the option, okay, because we're a nice and gen, uh, gentle police department here. So you have the option to leave or you have the option to receive a criminal trespass. What would you like to do? In order for me... I'm asking you a question. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? In order for a trespass from public property, I first must commit a crime. What crime is that? You were trespassing. We just told you you can't be here. Okay? So, unfortunately... Sir, you can't I be here. need so a you, crime you before... You are being trespassed right now. You can't be on this property. A Fourth Amendment right not to give property, my name? Then I have a criminal... I, I, and I'm you can give me a citation? Are you going to leave or not? And if I don't, will you arrest me? Yes. In the threat of arrest, Mr. Sergeant Vasquez, I'll, I will leave. I always find it weird when they say that you're trespassing on said property, but you aren't even standing on the property that you are apparently trespassing on. And that's exactly what happened to this man in the video. What makes this one even worse is that there was a bunch of cops that decided to swarm the man and say this. And remember, all of this was because the man was filming. And of course, they had to threaten to arrest the man, so he had to leave. This was just disgraceful. What do you guys reckon about this one? I'm Deputy Liam with Thurston County Sheriff's Office. I can't quite hear you, sir. Oh, oh, sorry, let me get a little closer. I'm bad at hearing, and the traffic okay, makes it that no much problem. worse, man. I'm Deputy Liam with Thurston County Sheriff's Office. This clip is from the channel No Bones Pressed. Please be sure to go and check out their channel, as always. Their channel will be linked down in the description so that you guys can go and subscribe for more videos like this one. Anyway, the video starts off with some bank staff not liking this man and his filming. Bear in mind, the man is filming from a public sidewalk. They then decide to call the cops on him. The cop arrives and goes straight inside to educate them, but then also comes and speaks to the man filming. I didn't ask for help, thank you. Okay, well I need to ask you to leave the premises. You can't video tape our building. You're wrong, but thank okay, you for well, being nice. Help. I'm not even on your property, so... Thanks for wasting your time and my tax money. Good afternoon. I'm Deputy Liam with Thurston County Sheriff's Office. I can't quite hear you, sir. Oh, oh, sorry. Let me get a little closer. I'm bad at hearing, and the traffic okay, makes it that no much problem. worse, man. I'm Deputy Liam with Thurston County Sheriff's Office. Uh, just letting you know I'm audio video recording, and I can tell you are as well. Yes, sir. What's going on today? I was walking by. They came out and started screaming at me and said they were calling the cops, so I figured I'd stop it. <laughs> stay and wait. Okay. I mean, right. would you happen to have a business card by chance? Uh, I do in my truck. I'm sorry. I don't have it with me. Can I get it before you leave? Yes, I, I will. Oh. I will give it to you before I leave. No. I was walking on by, minding my business. I was literally like this. Yep. And I sat down to get a drink out of my bag, and she comes out, what are you doing? You gotta get off my property. I'm like, damn, I'm not on your property. Right. I understand you, you may be intimidated by this, or you may not like, mm -hmm. I'm not on your property. Right. Well, I'm gonna call the authorities and chase you out of here. I'm like, thanks for wasting my time and resources. Now I gotta stay and wait. Right. So, yeah. I, I talked to her, I educated her on, you know, this is county property, you actually have every right to be here. Thank uh, you, she asked me about recording, and I explained to her that you are in a public place recording. If she doesn't like it, she has the duty to step out of the way, and etc. because you are in a public place. Thank you, sir. So I educated her on all that stuff as well. I give respect until you it's give me a reason same, not to. Same, sir. So. Um, I was down out of state, one, uh, and I was walking past a bank, and I realized there Yep. So, so let me get you my business card so you don't leave without it. Can I, right is there a call number I could get on the on the card? I'll write it on there for please. you. Please. Thank, thank you, sir. No and one more thing, if you yes, could, sir. be safe today. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Since you were so nice, I'll even be so nice to give you one of mine. I appreciate that, Mr. I go, nice. I go by No Bones Pressed online. Okay. Simple Google search. You can't miss me. No problem. That's me. On the back is a sequence number for this call. There's not going to be a report or a case number, so it'll just be CAD notes. CAD notes. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, and honestly, stay safe. You too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a safe day, okay? I just get you on film, pull on out of here, and then I'll be on my way. Right. Just so one. you know. Thanks. You too. Honestly, please have a safe one.
Well, thankfully, this one was a false alarm. The cop did come and speak to the man, but it was actually a good encounter. The cop demonstrated that they had perfect knowledge of the laws regarding the situation. This was great to see, because at first, I thought it wasn't going to go so well. But after educating the staff, he then did this, which obviously wasn't a bad thing. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments section. Obviously a pass in my eyes from this cop, and I'm sure you guys will think something along the same lines. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. It's Corporal? Yes, Corporal. You want my business card? Oh, yeah, sure, I appreciate yeah, that. You can have that too. Thank you, Corporal. You can add it to your little file. This video is brought to us by This Is A Public Service. Their link will be down in the description. Be sure to go and check out their channel through the link. Subscribe to their channel and be sure to give their videos a watch as they have many more just like the clip used in this video. The video starts off with these men encountering a cop in public. They then file a public records request through this cop. At first, the cop seems to have an awfully condescending attitude, but out of literally nowhere, this all changes somehow. I'm out with them right now. Okay, so what do you need? Public records request. Okay, so do you have to give you my email, the email, you can yeah, we'll, click into records and they'll get it for you. Yeah, he's gonna um, give you some items uh, verbally, and then I guess you guys just write them down and put it in, make sure it gets to the right person. That's why I'm gonna give you the email, mm -hmm. and you email them, and they'll send it to you directly. Oh no. no. I don't have any way to give you public records because I don't have oh, that no, information. Oh no, 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 I don't want to get them from you, I just want to submit the request to you. To you. So you want to give it to me so I yeah. can give it to the record, same way that you could do the same thing I can. Okay, That's right. I'll be happy to do that. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. And it's Corporal? Yes, Corporal. You want my business card? Oh, yeah, sure, I appreciate yeah, that. So you can have that too. Thank you, Corporal. You can add it to your little file. It's quite a large file by now, Corporal. I'm sure it is. There you go. The email's in there if you need it. I appreciate that, Corporal. Okay, what can I... What are you looking for? Honestly, so. Could I have a roster of all the UCF officers? So you need a roster? I think you can also get that on our website. Have you looked in there? I haven't looked on okay. there. Okay, you might want to look this in there. You that's all right. Uh, no, that's okay. okay. You can, I'd rather just receive the record. What email do you want me to send it to? Uh, and could I have the corresponding like identification numbers as well? Roster and cor correspondence number. So like you need like our employee number. Yeah. Please. Okay, well that's called employee number, okay? Employee well, number. I'm not, yeah, every agency is different, number. so I don't want to just uh, assume so that So you want it from thing. the chief all the way down to the lowest person or civilians is, only or everybody who's certified? No, I've already certified. Okay, so you want everybody who's certified. We have patrolled all the universities. So the universities. our jurisdiction would be very different than like Orlando. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. arresting power, procedures and all that, we're all the same. Okay. So the only difference is I only deal with like the university settings. Okay. Anything to do with, so if you look at UCF, UCF has many different campuses. Yeah. So we patrol those areas. How many of these uh, technical colleges are there? There's a ton of them, right? We, we just well, technical for... college is different. That has nothing to do with us. I don't know. I'm, yeah, if you look around how many colleges there are, there's it's hundreds tough. and hundreds <laughs> of them. No, but not every college has police departments yeah. with them. Like that, if something happened over there, that would have to be OPD, Orlando. Okay. If somebody came up to you and asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, uh, but by all rights, it was something that you should know the answer to. Would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Yeah, somebody, if I, I don't know everything. I mean, I'm no different than any other person. I mean, I, if I don't know the answer, I'm going to try to figure it out how yeah. to solve it. Freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, the freedom of the press, the... Two more. Two more. Hold on, let me think. Fourth Amendment is the uh, surge and seizure. Second is bare arms. Freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of getting together. Assembly, yes. Assembly, thank yes. you. Hmm, last one. If you get this last one, you'll be able to take it all five. Hold on, let me think. Let me Never. think. Hold on, give Never. me a minute. I can look it up real quick. Well, that's it. That is, that that is the good faith, us. right? I'm going to do that, but I'm going to look because I want to know. No, now you got yeah. me thinking. That's why he prefaces it with be good faith and get back to us if you don't know more. Nope, right I, you give me a second. Petition the government ran for this. That's the, the other. And you said religion too. Religion. So at least one more. You are actually already said it. You, already you said, said it. the one you were missing. <laughs> Which one is it? Petition. Petition. The petition the government to give you. Yes. A, okay. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, thanks, guys. If you need something, let us know. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. You. And I will send that. I will the press right now, and you should get it in the next couple days. I appreciate that. All right. Wow. This one really took a turn for the better this time. 
Usually I'd be saying the worst, but that certainly wouldn't apply for this scenario. But at first I really thought this cop was going to be some hard work, but he definitely proved us all wrong, I'm sure of it. I have to just say well done to this cop for how this all ended up unfolding. I still can't believe how much of a turn this one took. What do you guys think about this one and the cop's change of attitude? Did you expect it? Let me know down in the comment section. I can save you the time. It's it's totally legal. Okay. I'm going to just go run it by my security. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This clip is from the channel PNW Transparency. As always, be sure to go and check out their channel and the link will be down in the description. Show them some support by checking out their videos and subscribing to their channel, as this helps them out. The clip starts off with a man filming outside of a credit union building. The staff comes out and starts to question the man. Staff thinks that it's not allowed to film, so therefore runs it by his security. Haha, ha, come on, what a joke. Watch until the end to see a funny reaction. In Lacey, Washington, and I came across this while I was out and thought we should probably stop for a few. Rock on, brother. What's that? Is there something we can help you with or what are you filming? I'm uh, just getting pictures of the bank. Is there a reason why? I like banks kind of interesting how you guys got like a kind of a crescent shape on the front of it and the whole reason why you're filming is because you like banks i like banks different banks around town yeah um is this normal to have two banks in one well that's this location just this one yeah okay the other ones are just wsec use but there's twin star and washington State. i just i've never seen two banks under one roof okay. so i don't know if I mean, I know this is a public walkway, but I don't know if we can have you just tell me. I'll find out. I can save you the time. It's it's totally legal. Okay. I'm going to just go run it by my security. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was interesting. Nothing to say on the way out. Nope. I guess she got her point across. Well, this one was certainly worth the wait until the end of the clip to see that customer's reaction. Sometimes I have to remind myself that this is all over someone simply just recording. And when you realize that, you also realize how insanely bored some of these customers are when they react like this. I mean, what do they even think they're getting out of doing this? It just makes the man's video more interesting, in fact. But anyway, this staff member certainly tried his luck by confronting the man recording, but obviously didn't get very far. Well, in fact, didn't get anywhere at all. Thanks for making it to the end of the video guys. Once again make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.